Robert Carrington, President and CEO of Columbia Mines Corporation. I have over 35 years experience in the exploration, uh, development, and mining industry. Um, I've actually been working in Columbia since 1992. Uh, Columbia Mines is a junior listed uh, company. We trade on the Toronto Venture Exchange, and exchange under the symbol CMJ. Today we have 42.3 million shares issued and outstanding, approximately 54.3 million shares fully diluted. Uh, the company was formed in 2006 and we completed our IPO in uh, 2008. Uh, we decided to exclusively focus on exploration in Colombia, primarily for gold and uh, uh, base metals. Uh, Columbia Mines is uh, fairly unique. We actually have a large portfolio of projects. Our two flagship properties really are Eldobio and Mercedes. Uh, we were heavily focused on Eldobio in 2013, uh, where we completed the uh, first phase of drilling. Um, that, uh, that was very successful. All eight of the holes hit mineralization, and we uh, have since completed an orientation ground magnetic survey that clearly identified uh, the min known mineralization. We're currently in the process of expanding that to cover a much larger part of the property. At Mercedes, uh, we just recently announced the uh, completion of an airborne magnetic survey that is uh, very favorable. Uh, we see a lot of good correlation with uh, previously known mineralization on the property. Okay, Columbia Mine stands out from our competitors because um, we were a very early uh, mover in Columbia. We substantially have a first mover advantage. That allowed us to acquire a very large portfolio of high quality projects, Eldobio and Mercedes among them. Um, none of our properties have any residual rents, royalties, or retained interest by any third parties. And um, we're one of the most active prospect generators in Columbia. We have the likes of Tech Resources joint venturing into some of our projects. Um, the, uh, the underlying value in the company that really makes us stand out was substantially valued, validated earlier this year when the IFC World Bank Group invested heavily in Columbia Mines and uh, is going to be a partner going forward in the development of the uh, projects like Eldobio and Mercedes. Upcoming catalysts uh, for uh, Columbia Mines are going to be uh, uh, drill, uh, all drill based. Uh, the drills will be moving on to Eldobio in the very near future to follow up on the uh, very successful phase one drilling. We'll be drilling not only the Sabana Blanca zone, uh, where we have outcrops running to 104 grams, but we'll also be drilling in the Brazil one and Granizales target areas as well. At uh, Mercedes, we're going to be uh, drilling on some of the, uh, the northern targets. We have uh, three road accessible uh, individual drill targets we'll be testing there. Um, one of the most interesting perhaps is going to be where we're following up uh, outcrops where we have up to 50 grams gold, 773 grams of silver, and 26% copper in our reconnaissance sampling. In Colombia, uh, I would have to say probably uh, Continental Gold, they, uh, their Beritica discovery is clearly a very high grade discovery that will become a mine. Outside of uh, uh, Columbia, uh, companies like uh, True Gold and Reservoir Minerals are outstanding junior explorers. On the junior production front, I'd have to go toward companies like uh, Taranga, Perseus Minerals, and uh, Detour Gold.